Listen, you want to be steadfast. You learn to be steadfast in waiting. How many of you know any farmers? And not in the dating site sense, single girls. I know there's a big wave, Alaskan farmers and that category. That's not what I mean. I mean like real farmers. I'm from Wisconsin. And I don't know that many farmers, but I know enough about farming in my city brain to know that fruit doesn't magically appear on trees. It is no accident that God is using the example of a farmer because any of you like to plant. It's the closest thing that we can see to that. When you plant, you go out and you do the work and you, I don't, can't even use the language because I don't know it. Like you hoe or something, I don't know. You do stuff to the ground and then you plant the seed and you wait for it to grow. All I know, the only thing I know about farming is you gotta wait to see the fruits. But we, what happens to us, we crumble in the waiting. We think waiting is a time for us to self-indulge. We think waiting is a time for us to give up. We think waiting is a time when God has forgotten about us, that He no longer is part of the story. And so James goes to Job. Of all the people in the world who had problems, Job is like the front of the line. You think you have it bad? You've lost financial stuff? Job is like you on steroids. You think your kids are bad? His kids were so bad, they were partying together when God took them. You, you go on, you think your husbands are bad? Man, this, his wife was so mean to him. She was just like, like she just was the worst. You think your friends are untrustworthy? You go and read the book of Job. These friends, like put them in a basket and unfollow them, unlike them, remove them, never see them anywhere, anytime on Facebook ever again because they were worthless friends. That's Job's life. And James says, man, he was patient. He remained steadfast. You know the story of Job and what happened at the end? God had a purpose in the waiting. God was trying to teach Job something. God was trying to teach Job about who he is. Two or three chapters at the end of the book of Job talk about who God is. And so is it any wonder when you get to the end of James chapter five, the section that I read, he ends with how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Do you wanna make it in the waiting? You meditate on the goodness of God. You want to make it in the waiting? You stop thinking about yourself? I, I, I'm not pointing fingers at you. I'm telling myself these things. 